Hi guys, Yanni here down at Unity Gym. Let's talk about macronutrients for a moment because I'll read the, 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 the news or the uh, uh, coming through on the internet. I, I, I subscribe to a lot of different nutritional channels and one day we're told that we shouldn't be eating carbohydrate or carbs. The next day I'm told that we shouldn't be eating uh, so much protein, it can be damaging. Uh, the next day we're told that we shouldn't be eating much, too much fat. Uh, or actually now we're told that we should be eating more fat uh, and more protein, but we shouldn't be eating uh, much meat because that gives you cancer. And holy crap, if you're not as confused as I am, give me a call because I seriously need, need help deciphering it. And, People, like, I've got a fairly good um, uh, education around nutrition. I can't imagine what it's like for the everyday person, and this is something I deal with on a daily basis. People come just scratching their head in utter confusion, and what that does is it creates an immense level of, of, of demotivating, uh, uh, demotivated people who just don't really know what to do or where to start. Now, I'm gonna be brutally honest here, and I'm gonna be completely upfront and direct. Here's the big secret to losing weight because we do know a hell of a lot about losing weight and the and the 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 reality is is that it's not actually that hard to lose weight the problem seems to be keeping it off long term the psychology around what we need to do and understand to keep the weight loss sustain the weight seems to be where the real breakdown is because the secret to losing weight here it is i promised i'd tell you is to eat less and move more. That's it, that's the big secret. In most cases, that's all you need to do. Now, I agree that cleaning up your diet is super important. I agree that what you, sh you eat should be super clean. And I've, I've done a blog, a very passionate blog this week about reconnecting with food, taking accountability and preparing your own food. I think that's one of the best things you can do uh, and, and, we, and we can do on a societal level. I know that we've all got fast paced lives. Tell me about it. I run two businesses and I've got a nine month old baby. I work 12 to 16 hours a day. Um, but we have to find a way. We have to find a way. And if we're not pre preparing meals when, and, and trying to rely on food prep when our mental muscles are completely destroyed and fatigued in the evening, you, look, this, the odds are stacked against you guys. You're gonna make silly choices so that aren't really in alignment with, with, with optimal health. Uh, but unless you're, um, and this is the, there's gonna be a lot of people listening to this that probably fall into this category. If you've got a big gut and you're a bit overweight, then the chances are very high that you're pre, what's called pre-diabetic, which means that your body's not controlling insulin very well and handling blood sugar as well and uh, you know unfortunately two out of three people that are pre-diabetic go on to develop type 2 diabetes which is a pretty shocking fact uh, that is, is estimated that there's probably two to three million people in Australia right now that that may have gone up that was taken in 2010 chances that has gone up quite a lot that are walking around pre-diabetic and don't even know it um, and in those cases yes cutting down carbohydrates unless you're exercising is super important because that's going to help to control those insulin levels and things like that. But pro when you eat protein, guys, if you look at it on a scientific level, you still produce insulin. So don't, don't, you know, don't don't jump in there going, oh no, paleo is going to fix that. It's bullshit. I'm sorry, uh, but. What we do have to understand is that sedentary, seated lifestyle where you do not exercise is seriously, seriously stacking the odds against us. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but uh, sedentary lifestyle has just been classified as dangerous as cigarette smoking for your body. Now, here's something we need to understand. It takes a long time for the government to make a decision to actually announce something like that. Usually, they're probably 10 or 15 years behind the, the early uh, the early adopters who are out there saying, hey, you know, uh, it's probably not so good that we um, don't uh, exercise and we sit in a chair all day in the office. Like the fat debate, you know, um, for the last 15 years, we've all, anyone who's in the know about nutrition has pretty much known that saturated fats and non-saturated fats are pretty important in your diet. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, the government's still been telling us up until very recently that we should be cutting fats out completely. So. Think about it, if they've just told us how dangerous it is to be seated in a chair all day, chances are it's a lot worse than we actually think it is and, and that we're willing to admit it is. So uh, my message today is stop 
looking at the, oh, how much carbs, how much protein, how much fat should I be getting, what diet should I be following, what diet book should I be reading, the more we seem to listen and the more we seem to read, the more fucking confused we seem to get. You know, I, uh, I'm trying very hard not to swear, but this is a passionate topic of mine. Um, you've just got to start moving more and you've got to start eating less and you've got to start reconnecting with your food and start cooking again, you know, because I've said it earlier and I'm going to say it again and this is something that's pretty confronting for a lot of people, but if you're, if you're relying uh, on, I reckon, over 80 or 90% of your food to be produced by other people externally, so you're getting takeout, fast food, uh, deliveries, things like that, or even going to the fast food joints during the day for your lunches, chances are, unless it's a really healthy salad joint or something like that, that you are failing at life, man, because the connection to food is so important and it goes so much deeper than just aesthetics. On a cellular level, on an emotional level, food is so important and we cannot stick our fucking heads in the sand any, mo any longer on this topic because here's the thing, our uh, Medicare, our healthcare system, it cannot sustain us where we're headed right now. We, are, we, we do not know the half of it. We're only getting filtered information down about how fucking serious this is. So that's worth a swear word. Uh, so we have to start taking accountability and it's really, chances are guys, it's not gonna matter how much carbohydrate, protein or fat you guys eat. You just need to eat less of it and you need to eat better qualities of it and you need to watch how it's been processed before it gets into your mouth. I hope that's somewhat helpful. I hope it's somewhat motivating. Uh, if you've got any questions, shoot them through. I'm more than happy. My team here is more than happy to help you guys out. Eat well, move more and see you in the gym, guys.